Hi, this is Steven Stewart, back with another episode of Ore Finders Drill Bits, and today I'm going to be talking about Cote Lake. Uh, and, and what is Cote Lake and why does it apply to Ore Finders? Well, Cote Lake is a, is a, is a huge asset. It's uh, almost a 10 million ounce deposit. It's owned by IM Gold. Uh, and how does that apply to Ore Finders? Well, the same management team uh, discovered and consolidated that district uh, probably about 15 years ago. Uh, Alex Stewart uh, and myself, uh, I wasn't quite as senior, but I was certainly working side by side at the time, uh, consolidated that, that district, that Chester Township district. It was fragmented, just like Shining Tree is. It was fragmented in the sense that it had 17 different property owners. There were three independent former producing mines. These were all high-grade underground mines that were you know, on care and maintenance. Uh, nobody at the time uh, was really thinking about a dis bulk disseminated type deposit there. Uh, but the geologist at the time, a guy by the name of Frank Puskas, stepped out, drilled 100 meters, and uh, it had a gram, uh, gram of gold throughout, you know, nicely, widely disseminated, close to surface, and, and really that changed the perspective of, of what could be on that area. This was before the days of Osisco, before the days of detour, so bulk tonnage wasn't sort of in vogue, uh, but this sort of changed everything. And so uh, what happened there, as I said, it was consolidated. Uh, the property was then sold to Trelawney. Trelawney did a great job in drilling out, uh, I believe it was 6 million ounces, and in turn in 2012, the asset was sold to IM Gold for, for well over six, uh, $600 million. So it was a tremendous success for everybody involved. And uh, now most recently, Cote Lake has brought in Suitomo, Suitomo a, Jap a large Japanese miner, to, to partner on it. They made a $200 million, uh, U.S. investment into it, and it's on, its, uh, on the way to production. So that is, that's great for business, uh, the gold business, Ontario, to have a mine of that size and scale being developed. Uh, we're, we're very excited and pleased to see that move forward. So why does that apply to Shining Tree? Why am I telling you about Cote Lake? Well, not just because it's the same team. But we see the same elements. Again, Shining Tree is totally fragmented. We, we've gone in there and we've consolidated a very good portion of it. Uh, we see a lot of the same type of uh, mineralization. Certainly the very broad, uh, near surface, bulk tonnage disseminated material. We see that on the Dugan. We see that on Porphyry Lake. We see that in Tyranite. And then, of course, we see just absurdly high grade uh, on the Minto. Now that, that didn't exist on Cote Lake, so this has another element uh, here that, that Cote Lake doesn't have, but we see the same type of opportunity to create a real uh, new major economic ore body. Obviously time will tell, but we've got, I think, the right team in place, and I think we've got some fantastic property, and uh, the Shining Tree in conjunction with the Morata, which you know all complements, uh, each asset complements each other quite nicely, I think Ore Finders is in a really exciting position, so uh, we're excited to tell this story. So anyways, thank you for paying attention to this episode of Drill Bits, and stay tuned for more. <laughs>